afternoon, Frank and Janet. Here we are at 6733 Carlisle Lane in Palm Air. Uh, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon on June the 18th, and we'll do the review of this house. Okay, Hi. so we have a big uh, tree here in the front right of the home, providing for a lot of shade on the house. Uh, probably save a little bit of money on the electric bill. Uh, looks like they do have someone parked in here, maybe to make it look like a lived in, not sure. And then there's a tree here. Now they have a uh, designer driveway. Uh, I'll take a spin around here. So, looking around the neighborhood, uh, we got the neighbors. Big pineapple palm tree there. That's an expensive tree. Uh, looking down the road. And across from the house. Very, very nice houses across the street here. Very clean, very well groomed, look really sharp. I have my little buddy here with me today, so you'll see him looking around. Uh, they get a lot of shade here, so the their grass is, um, they don't really have much grass. Probably need a different type of grass to grow there that could grow in the shade. So take note of that. Big front entrance way. Uh, there's some more in the driveway. They have this symbol in the front. Uh, we got our big three car garage. Let's see here, take a look, walk around. No chalk on the paint, so it looks pretty good. Uh, there's their water sprinkler sensor, electric box, and the Verizon box. See the AC around here. Uh, so that's a three two thousand and eleven unit. Uh, you can tell the bark mulch has been has uh, aged or worn. Probably use a nice refreshing. Um. I could use a good pressure washing here. Got uh, some screen is most likely you want to replace that. Let's see how the paint looks here. Yeah, paint's good though. No chalk. Needs cleaning though. All right, the neighbors to the left of the house.
So it's all to the left. And right out the back, let's see, let's get the house here. Kind of interesting. Actually, the screens look a little, some of them do, like that one. It's a little worn. And the other one looks okay. Again, you could really use a little pressure washing. All right, pool area. All right, and directly off the pool, I mean, that's what you're looking at. This is an awesome, awesome view. Uh, again, there's shy on the grass up here because it's all shaded under the tree. But the actual view is very nice. one heck of a lake view uh, so you could just go out here a little bit more to the left directly behind the house and to the right okay and if I did a full swirl around So there's the house. Okay. Uh, the neighbors to the right. And the right side of the house. Good old pool equipment. So we got a hooked up pool heater. Pool filter, the pool pump. Uh, looking back around here, so the neighbor directly to the right looks like this. work towards getting inside here. inside okay here we are going inside okay now uh, so we have white tile on the ground close up of what it looks like it's 
So we'd have our dining right here and as we walk in. A little cracking on the ceiling right there. Uh, they have rounded corners. Yeah, it looks like a little shifting or something. You can see here that a little mark on the ceiling. Don't think it's a big deal. Obviously, you get looked at an in inspection. All right, take a look at the pool here. So I can use a little, I mean, it's a little clean up, you know, some dirt, maybe some refreshing, fans old. Knocked down on the ceilings. There are some seams where the drywall meets a few spots. And I have actual concrete pillars. Summer foam. Um, the screen is definitely getting probably to the age point. I don't know if you've seen the video, but there are some markings where you could see that it's getting older. Probably need to be replaced shortly in a few years. Uh, so you can see like there at the lighting, like right there, that's aged. Uh, let's see, the pool is. Uh, it's a good sized pool. I mean, you can easily get six people in here. I could pace it off. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So sixteen pacing steps. That's not sixteen feet. That's sixteen pacing steps. So it'd be a lot bigger. Uh, in terms of the length, uh, the width, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pacing steps across. Uh, the pool is definitely dirty, needs uh, some cleaning done to it. Uh, let's see here on this side neighbor's got a little dog over there you can hear him kind of Marking a little bit. They kind of try to put, I'm not sure, but they put lattice up there kind of as a privacy, but I would go with a little different approach with landscaping there. All right, Let's see what we got inside. All 
Um, so remember coming in the door, immediately to your right, they actually got a double door here. It's pretty cool. So double door into the master. They get right into a big master closet, a shoe rack. I do have a door from the closet right to the bathroom that way. Or we could just go into it right from here. All right, so we got his and her sinks, marble top. Uh, let's see, they have a little bit of a drip here. It wasn't shut off all the way, and it was just dripping. Yeah, it looks like we got a drip. Okay. Anyways, you got his and her sinks. Uh, soap tub. Looks like they need some new caulk here. Uh, the walk-in shower. They also have access on the bathroom directly into the closet. Okay. I have a second very small little closet here. Uh, just a little added extra closet space. More for like your coats and buy formal wear. Uh, master bedroom. Uh, in terms of wall texture, we have uh, orange peel on the wall. Knocked out on the ceiling. Original fan, most likely. Uh, your view out the master. Got the pool. Right out to the lake. All right, and back on out. Okay, heading over to the other side of the house. Uh, looks like we have a food pantry here. Look a little worn here. Not sure if that could be cleaned or not. I'd have to look into it a little bit more. This is pretty cool. We got room from the kitchen. Let's see if I capture this. Um, Okay. Uh, 
Now, this is a nice big area up here. Ooh, wow. This is nice. Um, so you have a uh, breakfast nook right here. So we put a little breakfast table. With the aquarium, aquarium glass right here. This is cool. So direct view right on out to the pool. And when we circle around, we got the kitchen. Uh, they have some miscellaneous appliances. Looks like they had to update the fridge with the mate tag here. Pretty neat for the seal. And pull out freezer drawer. Looks like they just kind of did miscellaneous updates as they went along. Nothing really matches. This watch. All right, let's see how we look on the sink here. Uh, this looks like a cultured stone. And the garbage disposal there. Alrighty. It's a nice big room off the kitchen. Ooh. It's big. We got the huge lie. Uh sorry, a huge uh doors off. Lie. Uh let's check this out first. Let's see if we get all this in here. All right, so we got two bedrooms here. Spare bath. Second spare bedroom. Right, and this is the front entrance way, the kitchen, the family room, and here we go all the way in the back left of the house. Looks like we have a uh, two more. We got a would be like a pool bath, so we could do. We could come off the pool. And then come around and use this as a pool bath. Or you could have it as an office bath, bath as well. It's a little original there, probably need a little replacement on the lights. Carpet looks like in good condition in these rooms. They made an office out of here. So this would be an office. 
double doors. And we got access right out to the pool as well. This is actually cool for an office because you got the you got the uh, lake view, pool view. Could zip right on into the family room or kitchen. Okay, check out the garage. Carpet's in nice condition here as well. This looks near new. No furniture marks or anything. Big, almost aquarium glass looking here out to the uh, lanai. All right, take a look at the garage yet. And we got the uh, washer dryer here. All right, uh, so we got the three car garage. So we got the double garage doors motored or as a garage door opener. And the third car garage here, so they have a car in here. And this is a uh, pull up, no, no garage door, no garage door motor to open it up would be by hand, but it is spring loaded, which makes it very easy to open. Got the inside electric panel. Have a sink here. Little spot on the wall there. And there's some marks on the floor here. 